This is Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play of Danganronpa. Who you by despair? <sighs> Everyone is as strong as Biaki. I never thought of having to overcome anything before. Not like I just ran away from my problems, but it's more like I was trying to live my life without even thinking about them at all. And so I'm still able to live. This is different. I'm sorry, I'm being too negative. No, I understand. I'm the same way as well. But... But now that we're talking, I feel assured once again. But I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this is what caused us to cling to hope. Yeah, you're probably right. Bye now. I'm gonna be heading to the restaurant now. Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Please, what's with the solid face? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot of my mind. Don't even know if I can get any answers on Aww. I just heard a I should probably eat some yummy desserts and please invite some people to come chat. Got it? I just, you know, I mean, it's gonna be a girl only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. Who girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. I'll go on a hey, better hurry and go to the restaurant. Jeez! He's so sleepy. Such a ham hands are so selfish. He's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping. But if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating together? Aww. Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Um. Sweet sweets for breakfast is bad for your health, but you can seem to make sugars and fat. Hey! Who made you the doctor? Don't speak without my permission. Oh, I'm sorry! Gee, <laughs> listen to that ugly bitch crying when the rain makes me so sick. Shoko, you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good morning. <laughs> uh, what is it? I just. Uh, my first time greeting someone is to actually greet you back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? <laughs> good, uh, good morning. <laughs> Life is she at. <laughs> Several people are already at the restaurant. Nobody was talking, not a single word. I've made you is wait. everyone here? Huh? I think Fugu Yu, Fugu Hiko is in here. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. <laughs> yes, dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. Hmm. Why do you have to like think of one wolf at a time like this? Maybe. Because he was thinking of a plan to kill someone by itself. You must not! Katsumichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! At least Yakuza is he, Don't you understand what it means? He's part of the Japanese, Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come here if he's not. That's fine. Guess it can't be helped. We'll just have to talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk. What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? <laughs> A party? That's right. That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the party till the sun comes up. This is your leader. Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absence. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like party. Hmm. On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait! Uh, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of this situation we're in, it's probably best if we all st strengthened our friendship with one another. <laughs> That's why you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it's vital and important that we all stay in one place tonight. You fiend. You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. Right. We're having ourselves a party. But... And so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I'm sorry! 
It's alright. I'm so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all of this is just what we need. Yahoo! Let's party hard. In that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Mm. Where's the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, it won't do. A new location that is impervious to interference from outsiders. A place, a place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Mm. An enclosed space. How beautiful. The restaurant that won't do, and neither will the lobby. That is not nearly enclosed enough. Uh, Nor will the cottages. There's so many people. We all get pressed up against each other. Mm -hmm. You want to press up against each other? The couch is clearly the best choice. Pressing up against ladies without sneaking around. For the late women's only trained and drag. There's so lucky. There's something wrong with Believe you. Believe how comfortable you are saying with your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert that everyone likes. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. And how about that old looking building near the hotel? Huh? That run down place? You're right. Yeah. But if we do our best to clean it, I think it'll be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our need for an enclosed space, right? However. Indeed. However, Vermontomy has forbid us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. <laughs> I've heard your conversation, heard it with all my very own ears. <laughs> I have good ears because I'm a rabbit, but I see most they use your ears, that's strange. Uh -huh. Hmm. And what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they Vermont Akuma's eyes on them? Hello! She looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, if it's no concern, then we can settle that issue another time. Listen. You know, but you come and tell us something about it, right? <laughs> If it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it! So in that case, I'll allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so you can all party together. <laughs> together? That's not gonna happen, because you're so disgusting. Understand? Do you, you wanna do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> Some kind of words make kind words make me wrong. <laughs> So we're all good with the old building. And? Then what about preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Wow! Yeah. I've never done the dirty work known as clean before. I'm excited to finally experience Hey, hey, hey! There's no way. Hey, we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Aww. Yeah, I don't want to do it either. Sheesh! What? No one's going to do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing? Actually. To be honest, I've already prepared a drawing because I assume something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, this just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws a chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Shots well then let's entrust our destiny to the whims of this draw. Alright! Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everyone took turns pulling the chopstick noggin tail held in his hand. And when it's all said and done. What? I'm what? Left with the red mark? Someone called the ultimate lucky student. Don't seem very lucky right now. Wow. I guess it can't be fun. Alright! Well, if it's just clean, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you make a good stay at home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll end the cooking. All right, first I need to prepare my ingredients, then I'll start cooking at the old place. There's no mistaking. Ah, terror, terror, horror, horror. We'll go all out. I'll prepare the world's safest dishes for all. Then... Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fu Yuhiko. <laughs> Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. Well, some time before the party, there's no way I can spend staring into space in my room.
He's obviously lying so he can confuse us. He's trying to make us suspicious of each other, so there's no reason for us to fall for it. Anyway. If we resist Monokuma's lies, it's imperative that we train our mental defenses. Try meditating with Pekko and honing our mental defenses. It's cool that we're hanging out. But we're not really talking about anything. Hey, Petko, do you like Kendo? Yes. That conversation is aggressive. Is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of? However... Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. It might be best if I change this up. What level are you? Could it be? Are you talking about my Kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their year of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect. Cut whom I must cut. Well, the original purpose of the sword, wielding a blade, is its interest since it's my aim. So. It's my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels desired by uh, for Charlie rules. Pekko isn't just a typical Kendo athlete. He truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How can I ask such a foolish question about level? I really don't know much about Kendo. I think you're really cool. Kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool? You say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Oh, well, thank you. Never mind. I'm very awkward. She is blushing. However, because of the path I have chosen, there are things that I've lost as well. Warm and what irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that comes to visit my Jojo, my childhood friend, dog, eat, and even the flinch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. It's really painful. He's going to talk about an event or a pass or something. Uh, Gundam, if you can touch his answers the next time you see him, he might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. See, you do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the four dark davas of destruction, he not not be scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right away. Look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. It's off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I felt like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Petko. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Oh, I decided to go back to my room for now. Understand which master you must follow. However, to become the supreme overlord of ice like me, you must train your soul to a much higher dimension. If you are resolved to relinquish your soul, Burn in the let, fires of let us obey those worlds beyond the vain life. Whisper to me about the kindness of animals. Hey, 
it's better if I don't. You don't get any closer than that. An automatic barrier is generated independently of my will. It's not like I'm getting closer or even planning to get close. Let me ask. Reminds me, there's something I haven't asked you yet. It doesn't matter that your temporary name is Hajime Hinata. Tell me your true name, Bean. Lucas is true. <laughs> so you're not foolish enough to tell me so easily. Then tell me your hidden name. I don't know anything like that. Have what? You? What is your special ability? Any of those? How beautiful. So you really are just a mere human. I suppose it can't be helped. Then let me talk to you about something that even a mere human can understand. What happened? Ask me any. Oh. You see. Feel free to ask, but make sure you try not to. If you flinch, you will die! After knowing my true terror, it is be quite a sight to see how long your sanity will last. Talk or not, which is it? Staring to get annoyed, but he's totally ready and waiting for me. Guess I'll have to ask him. What do you do with your free time usually? Good instinct. So you're interested in my lifestyle. Fine then. I shall reveal a portion of what of that to you. Fine. Training, human hunting, craft spell condiments, etc. Despite my look, I'm quite the busybody. However, managing my website takes up the bulk of my time. Huh? I shall Obviously, sorcerers around the world are waiting to see my research results. Of course, my website has been magically enhanced so that only the chosen can view it. <laughs> a new human like you will only be able to access the dummy sites called Exciting Breeding Journals. I'd rather check out the Ultimate Breeder's Exciting Breeding Journal anyway. Fine. Then I'll make sure to show you. Well, if we ever get out of here, that is. What do you well, are there any for? other questions? What's your favorite food? Fine. Hmm. You certainly hit the, the mark well. I am fond of the orange melon, which be bears the face of the devil. Are you talking about a pumpkin? There are no other foods as high in nutrition, nor as first our city of cooking. <laughs> More importantly, its seeds are the most effective food source for my poor dark Davis of destruction. However, you must carefully wash them, dry them in the sunlight, peel off the thick skin, and lightly fry them. I see, that sounds pretty difficult. Silence. Is there anything in this world that isn't difficult? Pleasures and pains are irrelevant as long as you have a purpose and take action for that sake. You're right, that's exactly right. It's hard to understand sometimes, but I do understand the intent behind his words. Somehow, even though it's only a little, I feel like I'm starting to get to know Gundam better. <laughs> After showering Gundam with questions until he was satisfied, he finally let me go. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean chit rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. And now he says, whatever. I have a party to attend. Alright, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Oh my oh. my! Are you also here for the pate? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise to kind of enjoy all that yummy food we're going to eat. I'm excited to eat Terry Terry's cook. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. <laughs> it's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'll do my best not to be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Are you worried about something like that? Aww. Yes. I let Puyuhiku know about the party, but he didn't look so pleased about it. So 
this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for wear. <laughs> You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Because I need to do a body check. B body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possibly security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my own arms and stood up straight. Made a head and through. Search me, starting with my legs, starting this way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything with you. Of course I have. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to. Hmm? At that moment, I noticed a strange item near where Biakia was sent. Metal cases? What? There are a lot. Them, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I found during the fight. The, one, the other one is for... Well, let's just say it's for emergency. So. What do you mean emergency? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, the Alcalde turned his back to just that he and Bartok, but he's so cautious I didn't expect him to perform a body check. What do you mean by for emergencies only? Oh! I did a Roma with you. Jeez! Our Viaka will yell if I don't straight, go straight to the dining hall. We should hover over there as well. decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. I brought it from the supermarket. The place sure does have everything. <laughs> I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. Well, there was a lot of dust and cobwebs over the place too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable now, you tell Thanks. Yeah, thanks. This whole place sure is run down. I felt bad Nagito went to all the trouble cleaning. Even cleaning has its limits. So you check out the floorboard. Maybe the wood train because of the deterioration. Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? That's right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell me to be careful. Uh, she's the type to trip over nothing. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... We gotta do something about it. Right, we should do something. Super I wonder difficult. if someone can do something about it. Mm, I wonder. Mm. I wonder. Same page? Page to them. I'm not sure I understand. Gross. That creep Yakuya rubbed his hand hands all over me and called it a body trip. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys too. <laughs> so I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Eh? <laughs> <coughs> I'm pretty and demanding it. Man is a lovely worm. It appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Ah. Man, this is so uncomfortable. Being grubbed so thoroughly by man is my worst nightmare. Oh, it's, you mean the body check? How annoying! He got super pissed and started out yelling me when I noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how freaking annoying! It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man, I just happened to find it at the airport, carrying it around, calming down. But be off you put in that girl alone in case. Aw, man. Hey, what's up? It's pointless, she completely focused on the food. A lot of fancy looking party dishes on the table towards the Such a 
shaped table with the dishes to be placed there too. <laughs> Even though it took me an entire day just to clean this hall, I'm glad everyone's so happy. Such a jury's looking party dishes. Looks tasty. And there are a lot of looking party dishes. Meat, fish, it's all here. There's an air conditioner, but the filter might need to be cleaned before we turn it on. Iron plates. Remind me, I saw something similar, similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. Why are there iron plates bolting the wall? All is not what appears to be. Eh? Stay back. One of my four, Doc Davis, a destructive supernova silver fox, Sandy, has seen what lies um, shrouded amidst the darkness. Though the iron plates appear to be bolted in the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? Let me tell you. There are no this. windows in this dining hall at all. I assume these iron plates are covering them. Why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is mm, my Sandy, domain. it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. What? Hey, why are the iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lives grasp their first breath, and countless more go to the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of renovation, so I guess it might have something to do with it, but this place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent prodigy ring throughout the dining. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hmm. Terror terrors in the kitchen. It appears Fuyuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did intend to inform him about the party, but Jeez. it's not like you need to apologize, Pekko. It's his fault for not coming. I expectedly stated that attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If one per person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What? More important. Come on. What is this? Not possible. Dangerous. Towards the. Hey, what are you doing? You're hogging all the food. Not fair. No, I'm not. I don't care what you say. You're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat! And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Hello there. Mm, it looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Huh? Huh? <gasps> Some messy ear ruined my arrangement. <laughs> Who made this? Dish? Um... That would be me, but um... Are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. It's, it's a South American meal where you can stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it. Mm -hmm. It feels fairly tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are Why? Skewers aren't problems either. Shh. That's how you're acting. And there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. His face poured an immense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall.
Let's go. All right, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there's no danger sign. Thoroughly, huh? The stomped into the kitchen. I followed after him. Listen, let's get head on with it, then search this place thoroughly. As he issued the order, Byakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm, looks like I found these. There are forks and knives on the shelf. Don't tell me those two. Naturally. There are definitely dangerous items. If you were just eating chops, eating chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Byakuya threw forks and knives into the room case one after him. You're being very thorough about this. This paper is, I see, appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecues and even a portable stove for cook cooking hot pot. <laughs> Iron plates and portable stoves. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There still be no problem using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive compared to a normal restaurant. Not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on the list seems to be short by one. Necessary for this part. I'm myself. doing this because it is necessary. If I to fulfill the promise I made not to let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Lily, is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for it. Hmm. That's not it. I've been dis a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful? I don't really like to talk about my past, but fine. I'll tell you a little bit. <laughs> I cannot tell it. Talk to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. She has a past he can't talk about. Mm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn for a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we were to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that passed you. That's enough. Now is not the time. However, one day there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about hmm. it. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. Sounds pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have been a deep mystery hidden within him. Deeper than I thought he had. Such silly talk. <laughs> Enough with the unnecessary banter. We better hurry and find the rest of the, those dangerous. Yeah. God. Sure, our hard work. There's probably more in line with his actual personality. I bet. Various types of knives, but these what? Out of the question. Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over. I'll safeguard them. And I threw my hand and threw them in the dirt alone case with the rest. Of course. Japanese, Chinese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes too. Food, piece of meat on the phone. That turned her. He sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much. I see. It seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer in the Kurashio earlier inside the pile of food. That appears to be the case. I wouldn't know what to do if he said fish, bones, and meat bones would also be made of <gasps> Why? The kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous huh? items. There are no knives and forks. Why? How come? Don't make me repeat I myself. literally just said I removed all the dangerous items. You're kidding. Don't tell right? me you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Most of the dinner stuff is. All I gotta do is arrange the plates. So that's not a problem, but... But, but... <laughs> Stop it. Get off me, man. Not into that sort of thing? Oh, well, that's a little depressing. Trust me. I'm the one who's depressed. Before you... 
start with all 30. I explained this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron screw missing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, as far as I know, it's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? It's been missing all along. You can't really do anything about it, right? You're right, there's no place to just hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well. All we need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. Let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You two, Terror Terror, come to the dining hall for now. Ah, uh, that's... Okay. Jeez. Such a pushy leader. Hey, hey! Let's eat already. I'm starving. Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address. Lies! Alright! What do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word, I'll do it for you. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is for the sake of this Duralum cave that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Can we just leave it in here? Hmm. We've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely up to security to keep it someplace safe. Um... Someplace safe? Well, there is a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. Storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the place alone in it. Then... If someone should guard it, that would keep it safe, yes? Aww. Eh, who, who? I'll do it, of course. Uh... <laughs> Are you sure? I guess if you insist. Just kidding. Aww. But it'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I really... It's not that really good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> if I wrote a song about the title, it would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Closet. However, However Terra Terra has gone to the trouble. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay! Yeah, it's totally fine. But... but if you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Why is that? Well, not just... Not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and hold pallet. I was all so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stay in there for too long, I think it would be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit break in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. The office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. Understood. So I'll need to be on guard duty at the office. And I should get going. Having fun tonight, everyone. I'm with her, her the journal case and his plate piled with food. Echo left the dining room. I see, I mm, see. Echo back as she walked away makes me feel like he go got this super cool unless you pop. Huh? Uh, but should, shouldn't she have taken the other case with her too? Hmm. This? No, this case is fine. That's weird. Uh, no fair, you're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen, this Duralum case stays with me at all times. I put the key to the other case in here as well. I'll take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this map. More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let the party stop talking. No, there's still more. I'm gonna do it! Do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already. Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Uh, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Where did you That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that can obviously disrupt the party. I'll show you my serious all right, side. Right, so let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma. Hold on! Wait a second, you're actually pick a fight with that thing. You're gonna end up here. No! Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? Hey. Starve to death? That's a little extreme. <laughs> our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our hands and think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about it. What? Do something. You hey, hey. Hey, now. What can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't. <laughs> you intend to utilize my me. Yep. Yeah. If I can talk into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least that's what I think. Uh, well, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's really mani easily manipulated. Oh. Plus, Monomi and Monokuma are all totally like, have a rivalry going on. <laughs> well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But will you be okay, Chiaki? still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. Uh, if things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. 
Oh, then I'll be going. <laughs> it feels somewhat uneasy. I have a bad feeling about this. Something feels. <laughs> oh, so you can we? <laughs> You're right. Let's begin. All right. Fine. So the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> <laughs> you better keep me entertained. And with that, the party started. Now they think it. Still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. For whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself. I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey, everyone. While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful. Please do. It's weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone has fun was so frustrating. Now it feels reassuring. The Necker already something. just started, but let's return to my cottage. Come on! Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish acts. Don't stop me! In Viakia, there's there comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. If I don't go now. Would shame me as a man. Sure. Shame my pants would totally shame me as a man. So he's talking about the toilet? What? You need to use the bathroom. There's one in the old building. Why do you need to go back to your car? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open it. What? This is blasphemy. What now? Impossible! My hellhound Irrit has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? Calm down, you probably dropped it. Shit! Gonna shit! Quiet! Shut up! Don't you? Oh, Is it really alright if I eat all this? What you say? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Yeah, go, come on! I'm gonna take a picture. Say cheese! Why do you act? Why do you all act a little more mature? What? Oh, that sounds. Hmm? Uh, it's a blackout. What blackout? A blackout! Hey, I can't see anything! The only thing to be stumbled around in the darkness. I fear to swallow this stuff like that. It's black! It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang through the dark, deep dining hall. And we're immediately swallowed up by another sound. Uh, everyone, crawl down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? There's no way my This is... Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the place is overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Uh, that moment with the lights and dining hall firmly turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. Ah! He kind of appears to have. Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Yay! An erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment. <laughs> no! Please don't! Please don't look at me! <laughs> I can't take this at all! In my room, it's time to snatch some shots! <laughs> there, there's no way I can do that! I think 
it would be best if we help her already. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, just for now, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad. The lights are back on, too. Yay! So you're the one who fixed the breaker, Kazumichi? You were unusually useful this time. Hey! Well, no, I couldn't find my way back to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you stupid? Don't... Who knows me? So useless. <laughs> it's not my fault, you know? There's no way I could have found my way to the office in the darkness. Oh, my! What happened? Something happened. Um... Kaki is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Byakuya. Look around the dining hall. Sure enough, Byakuya, who promised he would lead us in a situation like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... He ran off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch darkness? Hey! I'm a little worried. We should split up and go looking for him. I'll look for him in the storage room so I can ask you to check the entrance, Hajime. Yeah, I guess. For now. Yeah, I guess I'll look in the office. Then? I'll look around. Oh, I'll, I'll wait here since I'm coming in the middle of evening. Okay. Still gonna want to eat with all this is going on? Mm. Must battle. Yeah. I must man up and check the back. And this man up. And Jeez. Man hands ran away just because there was a busy, busy black. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face. It's unhealthy. Shaki and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. Guess I guess they're watching up. Huh? Hey Hajime, what about the oh, uh... It's not done yet, I haven't even joined in yet. Chiaki, do you happen to see Byakuya pass by? Nope. Nope. What happened to Byakuya? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Byakuya vanished during this time. So we thought he might have gone inside, but... Nope, no one came out. No one came out, does that mean he's still inside? In that case, we might have... I a... think... That's what I... Hey! Hey, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, I talked to Shiaki. She said he... She didn't go outside. That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Hmm. It wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. There's no one in the office. It is strange, no? Nobody was in the office? That's weird. What about Peko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding there. Hey. Well, actually, not even Peko was huh? there. But Peko's gone too. Hmm. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout and having themselves a make that major make out session. Well about. done. Truly outrageous. Hmm. Um. What happened? It smells... It really smells like... Well... But whatever cannot be absorbed is extract from... Yes! Those are the next of farting, but farting did need something to be embarrassing. It's not like that! No, I'm not talking about... Wait! Blood. It smells like... Blood. blood. It's like... <sighs> it's coming from over there! It's under, it's under there. I reach out towards it. Can I stop? This nervousness is fear. Why am I so nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way. To... I grab the table cloth and flip it back in one go. The rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. So, the ultimate affluent prodigy, Byakuya Togami, already dead beyond recognition. Why? 
By one of you. Of course. If you look at the body, you can tell instantly that he's obviously murdered. <laughs> look, he has such a horrible expression on his face. Don't you think? The face filled with regret that this life was ended by force, all things to someone else's selfish desire. To have a giant face that this this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Like to sacrifice by someone who really wants to leave his life. It's all lies. They're all lying that he was murdered. Murdered the moment I screamed that word. Thick and mighty feeling of despair swelled within my mind. Which means that I've accepted the fact that Biaki was murdered. What is this? Could, could it be? Why, Why? Why did this happen? Why Biaki? Well, it appears for you, Hiko's the only one who is- What are you gonna do? So in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do the you the usual <laughs> you get murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think the blackening is. If you're telling us to figure out who the killer is. Correct! That's right, from this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the black and gold. That's impossible! Can't be someone actually killed them. There's no way. <laughs> Make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's think that one of us killed Bianca. There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no! If you actually think that way, it means you guys have already been coming by the yeah. <laughs> Come on, come on, hurry and feel. I'm a life-risking battle between you guys and the Black and, and it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill me. Hey! Okay, what are you saying? You can't! Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monica was <laughs> No matter how much you interfere, there is only after one. On my grandfather's... You have a grand. On my grandfather's... Key. Great. Your grandpa's dead. What happened? On my grandfather's... Plane. Emergency! What happened to your grandpa? Did the plane break? I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Yeah! It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. You see that? That stunning display of power to find your big brother, and I'll show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> if I only have my money. Magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monk. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. In the spirit of love, doubt, and lovely deception, put your heart and soul into the event. I wish you the best of luck. With that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief stricken alone with our despair. I don't understand this at all. I searched for Byaku. I searched for Byaku. Why did it turn out like... What's going on? Give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um... You can't doubt each other because you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all going to get killed, right? Please wait! That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now I have finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt it. So... If you even listen to what I said, it doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? We have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you! No, friends you. downing friends is a major no. Shut up! Shut, Shut up! up! Just go away already, you useless piece of crap. Oh, uh... Threads are scary. 
don't want to do something like that. No. I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However, however, just as Yoko said, we're going to get killed if we're not doing it. Then we must do. Still, I don't. I can't believe one of us killed Biakuya. Yeah. No way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason, yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Biakuya's death. I will do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not our There's no mistake. It's to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. I'm going to survive this. And I have to fight. Um. Before you start, can I say something? Well? In the closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! It'd be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. Destroyed the evidence. Pointing! Look over there, there's a big bulky brawny guy in front of the guard. <laughs> Heck, what happened? Man. I has a sense of heart despite his looks. So... Hey! Can I be the one who watches the crime scene? I don't have enough confidence in it to investigate the body. It's not like I have the brain. I'll just stay by Biakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what the guard duty is. Uh, uh, I'll do my best. Yes, I'll do my best not to get in your way. Yes. I'll have, I have medical training, so it's not too much trouble. I can perform an ops half um. Gonna stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> And what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious. We're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There are no way amateurs like us would be able to hey. do that. So let's first rely on our intuition. Let's start from here and prove that none of us could have killed Biakko. <laughs> we perform an autopsy on your friend. How cool. I have no choice, right? There's no way I can do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't yeah, believe. Here. I won't believe that at all. Ah, uh, <laughs> you are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. This is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Find out who the killer is. That's our only hope for survival. This is hope. And well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and. Hey, hey! I don't like this. Who are you? Allow me to explain. Describe information regarding your death. What? I brought this to you. I said to be investigated. I'm such a nice. Another tester of the map. Hey, hey! Nice, you would say. You're such a selfish man. What's this? My, 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 the meat in this mascot, you. Still here. It, Don't put in the meaningless mascot Damn it. Let's go, you turn up already. Hurry up and go to hell. Out of here with you. Yeah. Don't pull my ears. We're gonna come on. Finally. The victim has, has discovered the dining hall. 11.30 p.m. The body was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and aft regions, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemical, such as poison, were detected. So Biaki is really dead. I promise there wouldn't be one victim. Why do you end up being one? I'll never know what you're going to say. <laughs> I can't talk to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. I've seen others and being disrupted in turn for a long time. My life has been living hell. That I would end up this way. Man, what do you mean? So, there really is a traitor, isn't it? Gosh darn her. Just because he said a lot of serious things, it doesn't mean that Thank you. Prepare myself for the worst. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.